Hey guys, just a quick explanation. Uh, I know I'm wearing the same clothes in a lot of these videos real quick right here. That's because I'm at home from college for a week. So I'm doing a bunch of videos all at once. And that's why we're wearing the same videos. So or that's why I'm wearing the same clothes. So go ahead and uh, enjoy the video. Hey guys, today I'm building a barricade for the range so I can work on some barricade work. So anyway, we're gonna start that off right now. Taking the water trough with it. <laughs> so the first thing we're gonna do is because I don't want this thing eight feet tall, we're gonna take it. Hey, watch out, watch out, watch out, dog. We're gonna take it and we're gonna cut the main board here down. We're gonna cut this board down to probably uh six feet six inches. I think that's a good height. Uh, you know, most guys and stuff on the range, and especially me, are not over six feet tall. So six feet, six inches gives us the height we need. And then we'll step it down according to, you know, how I feel. And uh, so first thing we're gonna do, let's, let's cut this board down. Okay, so this is all marked out, starting at six foot, six inches from the back of the board. We drop 20 inches. We come in 16 inches, then drop 20 inches. Go in 16 inches, drop 16 inches, and then go over the last 16 inches. 16 inches times three is 48 inches. Therefore, 48 inches is four feet. That's how wide the board is. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the top cut out and then uh, come back and show the next step. So I bought the wrong blade for my circular saw. So we're about to go at it with the circular saw or with the reciprocating saw. go basic setup you know you got your kneeling spot your standing spot and then your full cover spot i think the cuts turned out well so the next thing we're going to do is i'm going to go ahead and cut the legs and get those all cut out and then uh, we'll come back to the board so for uh, each side of the barricade we're going to have a four foot leg that runs vertical or uh, uh, perpendicular to the board and then uh a two foot upright on each side. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut those all out and get them set up and then come back with you. Well, we got the legs cut out, two four foot sections, two little two foot sections, and then some angled braces to go up in the corner of them. So uh, another thing I wanna talk about, like you could just, if you wanted a basic barricade, you could leave it like this for sure, really easily. Uh, but actually I'm going to cut some more holes out at different, you know, s size of holes and different kinds of holes in here to make it, you know, give you more options to shoot from, but a basic barricade would work just like that. But another thing, if you cut it like this, you know, I think I'm going to turn this one into a little barricade. So I have two barricades cause there's no reason in wasting that. I mean, just put some little legs on it and you got another barricade there. So that's pretty cool. Get two barricades out of one sheet. Uh, I'm going to find some screws and get these put together. And then we'll be back with you. All right, here we go. We got two legs set up. So the the uh, barricade will run up this side. We got our little braces. You know, they're not perfect, but they don't matter. But that's really sturdy. And that's what will sit on the ground, one on each side of the barricade. So now I'm going to, uh, you could leave it like this. You could attach these legs to this and be done. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and take some time, put the board back up here, and uh, cut out some more holes uh, for some different shooting positions. And uh, we'll go ahead and show you that real quick. So now we're going to go ahead and attach the barricade itself to the legs that I got set up here.
well that side's solid we'll go ahead and attach the other side and we'll be right back with you well as you can see we got the legs attached so we got some different holes cut we got a rollover prone spot you know this is the, the all the heights and stuff are actually kind of different and a little bit off kilter so it makes it a little harder to shoot through but uh, anyway here's a do-it-yourself uh, barricade for the gun range and we're gonna go ahead and head out to the gun range and test it out well here we are guys at the range we're gonna try out this new barricade we got set up here here let me adjust the camera a little there we go there we go that's what I like to see okay so uh, we're gonna go ahead and try this thing out you know get some shots on target see what we can do here we go I think that'll work you know it's pretty good for the first one just kind of throwing it together but uh i like the way it's set up it'll work uh if you're thinking about doing it go ahead and do it i think it's a good upgrade it gives you a lot more uh dynamic stuff to do on the range so uh like subscribe comment thanks for coming and seeing me today hanging out it was good uh i'm jesse this is Young Rural Lifestyle. Uh, see you next time.